Let us begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel. David spoke to Saul, Let your majesty not lose courage. I am at your service to go and fight this Philistine. But Saul answered David, You cannot go up against this Philistine and fight with him, for you are only a youth, while he has been a warrior from his youth. David continued, the Lord who delivered me from the claws of the lion and the bear will also keep me safe from the clutches of this Philistine. Saul answered David, Go, the Lord will be with you. Then staff in hand, David selected five smooth stones from the wadi and put them in the pocket of his shepherd's bag. With his sling also ready to hand, he approached the Philistine. With his shield-bearer marching before him, the Philistine also advanced closer and closer to David. While he had sized David up and seen that he was youthful and ruddy and handsome in appearance, the Philistine held David in contempt. The Philistine said to David, Am I a dog that you come against me with a staff? Then the Philistine cursed David by his gods and said to him, Come here to me and I will leave your flesh for the birds of the air and beasts and the beasts of the field. David answered him, You come against me with sword and spear and scimitar, but I come against you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel that you have insulted. Today the Lord shall deliver you into my hand. I will strike you down and cut off your head. This very day I will leave your corpse and the corpses of the Philistine army for the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. Thus the whole land shall learn that Israel has a God. All this multitude too shall learn that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves. For the battle is the Lord's and he shall deliver you into our hands. The Philistine then moved to meet David at close quarters while well, David ran quickly toward the battle line in the direction of the Philistine. David put his hand into the bag and took out a stone, hurled it with a sling, and struck the Philistine on the forehead. The stone embedded itself in his brow, and he fell prostrate on the ground. Thus David overcame the Philistine with sling and stone. He struck the Philistine mortally and did it without a sword. Then David ran and stood over him with the Philistine's own sword, which he drew from his sheath. He dispatched him and cut off his head. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for battle, my fingers for war. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. My refuge and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust, who subdues my people 
under me. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. O oh God, I will sing a new song to you. With a ten string lyre, I will chant your praise. You will give victory to kings and deliver David, your servant, from the evil sword. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered the synagogue. There was a man there who had withered hand. They watched Jesus closely to see if he would cure him on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him. He said to the man with the withered hand, Come up here before us. Then he said to the Pharisees, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil, to save life rather than to destroy it? But they remained silent. Looking around at them with anger and grieved at their hardness of heart, Jesus said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately took counsel with the Herodians against him to put him to death. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The man's hand grew well, but the Pharisees went out and immediately took counsel with Herodians, with the Herodians, against him to put him to death. You know, this miracle of healing the man's hand highlights a series of five straight confrontations between Jesus and the religious authorities. If you remember last Friday, the authorities challenged Jesus for claiming to forgive the paralytic's sin. And last Saturday, they challenged Jesus for eating with tax collectors. And last Monday, they also challenged Jesus for not having his disciples fast. And yesterday's gospel, they challenged Jesus for permitting his disciples to pick grain on Sabbath. And today, we we hear them challenging Jesus for healing a man on a Sabbath. And the last sentence of today's reading previews what is in store for Jesus. And Mark and our gospel says, and they made plans to kill Jesus because Jesus challenged their authority, their preaching, and their practices. Friends, this gospel invites us to ask ourselves, how do you respond to people who challenge you for following the dictates of your conscience? Are you known as an open and receptive person who welcomes others' ideas and opinions? Or do you have a tendency to immediately discount other people's opinions when they do not match your own thinking? How do you handle yourself when people go against your ideas, against your will? You know this, the Pharisees and the religious leaders made themselves feel angry at Jesus' practices. And instead of opening themselves up to new ways of thinking and living out the truth, they plotted to kill him. Reflecting on these opposing points of view, this I learned, that opposing opinions are really two perspectives of the same situation. Like the Sabbath, for the Pharisees, no work, but for Jesus, it's okay to do something good. Together, these opposites form what I call the necessary contradictions that when we are open to it, something rare and beautiful will be created that somehow balances the situation. And then Sabbath can become more beautiful day of our Lord when we dedicate it for prayer and good works. See, this clash between Jesus against the Pharisees and the religious leaders Remind us that everything has its opposite within it. Love can be very destructive if you mishandle it. Pain can help you find ways to grow 
and change. Fear can eventually lead you to a path of hope. See, every idea, both good and bad, will definitely have an opposition. Our ideas and beliefs are our windows on the world. Scrub them off every once in a while or the light won't come in. That's what happened to the Pharisees and the religious authorities when Jesus challenged them. They will never retract their opinions because they love themselves more and they, than they love the truth. That is why today's gospel reminds us to keep our minds open and to examine and re-examine our opinions and ideas and our practices, to give space to something that will make us grow and progress. For there's none so blind as those who are not open. Friends, how do you respond to people who challenge you for following the dictates of your conscience? How do you handle yourself when people go against your ideas, against your will? Amen. Christ liberated us from the destructive powers of evil and sin so that we could be free to cooperate in spreading the good news. We ask God for this grace and blessing. Lord, remember your people. Lord, Lord remember, remember your, your people. people. That the church may seek to free persons from whatever stands in the way of communicating the gospel to men and women of our time, we pray. Lord, remember Amen. your people. That the Lord may give hope and encouragement to the starving of the world who are unjustly deprived of food, clothing, and freedom, we pray. Lord, remember your people. That Christians everywhere may not be people of legalisms and outward observances, but people with a heart who do what they have to do as God's children, we pray. Lord, remember your people. That we may show concern to those who are suffering so that we may lighten their burdens and help them to keep trusting in God, we pray. Lord, remember your people. That the dead and those who mourn their loss may see hope and comfort in the resurrection of Jesus, we pray. Lord, remember your people. For those celebrating their birthdays, Ray Bernaldo, Annabel Tan Luzchich, Paulo de Jesus, Joe Mike del Rosario, Father Jose Mario Francisco of the Society of Jesus, Maan Herrera, Manny Acero, and Irene Fernandez, we pray. Lord, remember yeah. your people. For the healing of Leda Samonte and family, Mercy Abad, Susan Lesaca, Emily Quaso, Frankie Roman, Claudine Fraros, Alan Matutina, and Beneventura Igma, we pray. Lord, remember your people. For the repose of the souls of Alden Ganhinhin, Leonor Reyes Garmsen, Abel and Aris de la Cruz, Ramon Fernandez, we pray. Lord, remember, remember your, your people. people. For the special intentions of Aga Camarata, Gigi Carlos and family, Susi Lu, Lisi and Cecil, Lisa Halandoni and family, Susan Jorge and family, Hannah Gonzalez and family, we pray. Lord, remember your people. And for all, all the intentions sent to our Facebook pages at Jescom and Radio Katipunan, we pray. Lord, remember your people. Loving God, we claim to belong to you and to your Son. Help us through your Spirit to love you by caring and making other people happy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. forever. 
Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries, for whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with Lord, your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministered to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Honesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of God's peace. Peace, peace be, with, be with, you. with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. We have come to know and to believe in the love that God has for us. Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. illustrious patriarch Saint Joseph on the testimony of Saint Teresa thy devoted client never has it been heard that anyone who invoked thy protection or sought thy mediation has not obtained relief in this confidence I come before thee my loving protector chaste spouse of Mary foster father of the Savior of men and dispenser of the treasures of his sacred heart. Despise not my earnest prayer, but graciously hear and obtain my petition. Let us pray. O God, who by thine ineffable providence didst vouchsafe to choose Saint Joseph to be the spouse of thy most holy mother, Grant, we beseech thee, that he whom we venerate as our protector on earth may be our intercessor in heaven, who livest and reignest forever and ever. Amen. 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 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord in one another. Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Have a good day. Jesus, ang siyang sa mundo'y 